There are no quick tips, no secret to success in this story, though I did ask. He's lived through World War II, he lived through the Spanish flu. He has to have some secret to living this long. I think a lot of it is definitely having a positive attitude and uh, it, his mind is so active. They're talking about Rudy Hyder, Matthew Hyder's grandfather, a man who turns 107 years old today. He's a real McCoy. Hyder and his wife live in Bremerton for the last month. They thought the coronavirus was going to take Hyder's life, though they prayed it wouldn't. When that call came that um, he wasn't doing well, um, he was fighting fevers. He had, I think it was 102, and and um, he had said he wanted to die. I cried. Isolated and sick, the 106-year-old rode out the virus for weeks inside a nursing home in Chesterfield, Missouri. Just yesterday, his family received the news that their grandfather will move out of isolation. This after he showed no symptoms for the better part of two weeks. Hi, Grandpa. Happy, happy birthday. A move out of isolation. On the same day, he turns 107 years old. We love you very much. Through glass in Missouri, we see Hyder, a man whose story isn't over just yet. Thank you, everybody, for all the help you've given me. A story they hope will inspire others to always keep fighting. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News. How do you love that? Well, 107 now, but able to fight that. And what, boy, what a history. No kidding. And seeing him survive and knowing how many people are sick, it gives us hope, right? Hope. It can happen. Yep. Incredible.